Well, the colorful, crazy, and oh so sparkly Kathy Cano Mario, the, aka the Crafty Chica, has brought a brilliant project with us. It's these gorgeous sugar skull books, right? Mm -hmm. These are fabulous little mini books. And you're going to take us through all the steps to make this start to finish. Yes, thank you for having me. I'm excited to share this project. I call these my little Calavera books. Mm. And they're for Dia de los Muertos, which is um, Day of the Dead. It's when you celebrate your loved ones who've passed on. And a Calavera is when you write like a little poem or love song to them. Oh. And you add a picture in. And so it's a little book that you can make to give to somebody or so someone can decorate it themselves. That's a fantastic idea. And you said to me that these books are made from three different cuts, which I yes. know you have over there for us to look at. I see, um, will you just take us through the three different cuts there? Yes, I use my electronic cutting machine mm -hmm. and I started with a template of a sugar skull yeah, that I Yeah, and I, I know, I see, I have them right here. So you drew these two right. different sugar skull sort of book pages. Right, and I actually used a blank greeting card as my template to make sure it fit inside. Oh, because I see it had the fold in it. I thought you folded it that way. Right. That's really, really yes. smart. Yes, and that way it could be used as a card or you could use it inside of a card however you want. And then I use the outside area. Yes, I see. You have a template here that you drew for that, which how did you get trace. from here to here? I just put it down and I just traced around it. And then I actually drew another shape inside so that I would have a border like this. And now we're gonna cut one of them out, and uh -huh. I know you told me, you said load some plain paper on there, because yes. we're just gonna use regular old cardstock, which we have right here on our cutting mat. So I'm gonna load this into the machine, mm -hmm. and you can see there's your beautiful sugar skull design, uh -huh. which I think is fabulous. Now, obviously, if we want to conserve paper, we can just grab it and move it right into the corner like that, so it's gonna cut out. Mm -hmm. And you could obviously put several on a right. paper, resize mm -hmm. them, so you can make big, small, right. whatever you want. I'm going to hit OK. Cut. I have my blade, I think, set to like a four and a half, maybe, mm -hmm. something like that. And you got to figure out what you're cutting. Right. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and press start. And while that's cutting, I know that you are going to use our crafting time, that we don't actually have to be hands on yes. with this machine, to do some painting. Yes. So I know there's a lot of beautiful scrapbook paper is that so is out there. Beautiful. But I like to go with this white cardstock you can also use watercolor paper and use watercolors to paint them. So here's a little watercolor set that I have, and I love it because it has the water and the brush like this. I know. You can I take, take it, it when anywhere. I travel. Yeah. And so I'm just going to paint different areas like oh this. Oh my gosh, you know what's so funny? Is you went right over that mouth, not caring that it was going to go <laughs> through that hole. You know, you didn't even try to go around it. I love that. <laughs> I know we have a protective cover under. That's yes. why I'm like, okay, I can go there. Do you have any tips about using watercolor? Um, the main thing, I would say practice first. Mm -hmm. You know, just have a, a piece of watercolor paper and just go for it and play with it and find out what color mixtures you like the best. Because I see you're mixing directly into your paints. I see you, you're not cleaning your brush, you're not doing anything Yeah, uh, I just kind of go for it. I should probably have better habits. <laughs> But you know what, I just like to go, watercolors are, are so user friendly, they clean up easy. And yeah, well the other thing I noticed that you're getting is you're getting basically a color gradation because as you add another color yes. you move over. Now I want to talk about the water brush for a second. So mm -hmm. you you fill that with just plain? Just plain water and it comes with a little cap you could put on so you could keep it stored and then you can take that off and you just screw the brush right on it. So will you tell us how to clean that? Because like if I want to switch to green and I don't want to mix my green and my yellow together to get a mess, how, how do I do that? You could get like a wet paper towel and clean it off on there and maybe rinse it in water a little bit just to get it nice and clean. So you're just what? squeezing the reservoir Yes, then? yes. I just squeeze it so some water comes out and then you could just rub it on here. And, and then, then it's nice and clean and ready to go to the next yes. color. I love that idea. And I, and I hear by the silence of the machine that we're ready to unload the yes. mat for the big reveal. Are you ready? Are yes. you excited? I'm a little part. excited too. I'm going to grab the spatula because I find that that makes it a little bit easier. And I like to bend the mat, I always think, to get my cut off. And then the spatula just helps me wiggle under there yeah. to get oh, a nice clean perfect. cut. Look how pretty. And you know what I love? You said the word perfect. But is it really perfect or is it perfectly imperfect? 
basically you. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? I think it's all of it mixed together. Just as long as there's a nice cut that we can make a cool book out of, and I am happy. I know. And you see these open areas? Yeah. I save all of those little pieces and I use them throughout the book. That's so smart. So the ones that I see that are glittery of those little embellishments yes. that you have, that's because you cut the original right. paper out of glitter paper, like the cover on this second book here. You could take all those inside shapes and use them as use embellishments. Them on other pages, yes. Nothing goes to waste. And look, I finished one of these earlier. Mm -hmm. You see how it looks once you do the watercolor? This is the before and the after. and. Even though this is nice and colorful, right. I still feel like it needs some pop. So I'm gonna use this dimensional pen. Mm -hmm. It has like, it's super slick and shiny and it just really makes it come alive. I feel like it has a lacquer look to it yes, or something like yes. that. Do you know what I mean? Because it really has that nice dimensional look. So are you doing anything fancy or are- You know, I am just outlining all of my areas that are cut. Nice, and look how that ink flows. It's almost oh, like painterly, the way that it, it just is. comes it's out of there. It is, very therapeutic. <laughs> and this is a great thing I would think to do with a friend, like assembly line style, so that you're making all sorts of bits and pieces, or you could do it with like a bunch of kids, yes. where you, they could have all the pieces pre-cut for them, and then they can go ahead and, and, and make it what nice, they want. like if someone passed away and you want to celebrate their lives for Dia de los Muertos, you could have the kids make several of these books and pass them out to the family, so everyone has a little piece of the that's mento such to take a lovely home with them. thought. So you're going all the way around. And again, if we look at your finished one that's here, I noticed not only have you gone around with, by the way, I can feel the dimension mm -hmm. of that pen, um, but you also have added, I see, of course, some glitter, some yes, embellishments. Some glitter, embellishments. And then what I yeah, love what about that? using that is vellum paper. And what I did was I just used the vellum. Here is one that shows mm -hmm. what it looks like when you put it behind. It makes it look like stained glass. So cool. And by using the frame cut that we did, you can put you know, another paper inside, like my Crafty Chica papers here. I was here. gonna say, you've designed all these gorgeous yes. papers that really coordinate with exactly what you're doing there. The colors that you want, they're exactly what you want. So and there you go, you can cut a little there. embellishment out and put it in. So tell me a little bit about this page that we were looking at, this deal, because I know that's related to the two cuts that we, the other right. additional pages yes. we made. This and I think you have some pieces, cut. right, to show us how that goes together. Yes, this is how you make the page. So here's our outside frame, mm -hmm. and then here is the, the solid one. And you can use a glue stick or a tape runner, whatever you want, you know, just to seal it together obviously more glue than that. So you're going to put this together and then fold it. Cool. And you're just going to make sets of these. And I think I put so two how or three does, of how each does the one. book actually like this is a very compact, fabulous little book. Yes. How does it actually go I together? I just used a hole punch. Oh. And I found the center mm -hmm. just like this. Just open it up. Ah. I punched two holes and I used some satin cording mm -hmm. to feed through the middle. So you and punch I just it while it's it open. Right there. Yes. Punch it while it's open, Make not sure while it's, it's closed. Open. Yes, open it to the center, punch those holes. And if, if the pages are too thick, you can paint, you know, punch them one at a time through each sheet. Oh, that's a great idea. So yeah. you could use any weight of paper to really customize it right. how you want. Yes. And then choose yeah, to punch through it, and decorate it again with, yarn with the doodles. or a ribbon. You could hang little charms, little Mexican milagros, oh, even cool. little photo charms, anything that you want just to personalize it. And I love these doodles you've done on this dark yes, paper. That's, that's more of so the dimensional fabulous. ink. That's fantastic. Great ideas. I can't wait to make my own little custom book and I hope that you will try out a custom book. I will be back with more.